Hello everyone and welcome back to Tashkin House. In this week's video, I am tackling a DIY project. I got inspired with the look of an aged boss, so I wanted to bring you guys along with me. This is my first DIY project, and so we're going to learn and grow together and just get inspired. So if this interests you, please continue watching. Now it's time for the fun part, which is all the materials and the tools that I use for this DIY project. First, you wanna start out with an 80 grit sandpaper to lightly sand your vase. That way your material can adhere properly onto your vase. Second up, it's the material that I use, which is spackling. I use the DAP brand. Um, these are two different finishes. I started out first with the Fast Dry Premium Spackling. When you apply it onto your vase, it feels like kinetic sand. When it dries, it will dry gray. Next up, I wanted to try the Dry Time Indicator. When you put it on, it's pink and when it dries, it's white. Um, the consistency to me feels like Play-Doh. Next is your tools. So I use two different types of spatulas and my fingers in some areas that I couldn't reach. And lastly, you want a sanding block, a finer grit for your finishing touches. See what it's looking like, guys? And it will definitely need a few coats for sure. One thing I want to come in to say is that you cannot get this look using only one coat. And also, you're not gonna be able to fill in all the speckle holes all at once. So what you're gonna to have to do is let this let it dry, then go back in and fill those holes that you couldn't fill in the first layer. Do it with the second layer. And you continue repeating the process until you get the whole vase covered. And that's what I've learned putting the spackle on. You let it dry in between and then go back and backfill. You'll get it. This is, it's, it's time consuming, but boy, once I'm done, it'll be worth it. I really feel like when you go in different directions, it gives it more interest. So you don't have to stay consistent with this. Go, go very random. I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll be back. I'll sand everything down. I'm getting ready to start sanding. And the weather has turned. storms are coming in. So I'm going to sand this for tonight and I'm going to call it a day and I'll work more on it hopefully tomorrow. You'll probably ask me like how much to sand. Um, I can't tell you that. You just gotta get in there and get the feel of it, just like I am. Until you're happy with your piece. I 
Also, I'm noticing that my sandpaper is starting to add more texture to it. And I'm liking that too. I'm done for today. So I wanna do a recap. Before you get going, first, wipe your pot down, get all the dust or any particles off your pot. Next, lightly sand it with the 80 grit sandpaper so your material can um, adhere properly onto your laws. Next, have fun, experiment, spackle, just go to town. Make sure you sand in between each section so um, you can have that depth and movement. I'm experimenting. You learn and grow when you're experimenting. And so far I'm loving how this piece is turning out. Um, so again, tomorrow I will come back. I will sand this down. But so far I'm very pleased of how this is turning out. Stay tuned for tomorrow. Good morning, it is day two. We're getting ready to get started. I'm getting ready to start sanding. So we're gonna get ready to get all the rough patches sanded down. I'm gonna sand the top and hopefully I get to the handles today. I'm very excited, so let's get started. Sanding time is now complete. I love the black. Whatever black is popping out, I will leave. Um, and then I'll go back and backfill, backfill, backfill. The most important part of this project is the sanding process. It is very crucial that you sand in between the drying time, then go back and backfill in the areas you want covered. Okay, right now I'm getting ready to go in. I think I'm done backfilling. Maybe, I might have to go up in, in this section, but the body of it, I think I'm done backfilling. So I'm getting ready to start really going down with the sanding, tune it down the way I want it, because the texture's there.
Okay, I wanna come in real quick, just in case you wanna see what I'm doing. But a lot of my red is still trying to pop through instead of trying to re-mud it. I'm going in real lightly, and I mean very lightly. You probably don't even see the paint. Lightly dabbing in the creases. And I just go in and I dab. Don't add a lot of water. Remember, this is spackle. So you will make it wet if it's not sealed. I'm gonna let this dry overnight. I'll go back in and re-sand the paint so it can kind of blend with the pottery. Good morning, guys. It is day three. If you start hearing loud sounds, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize now. My husband is out on the property doing his to-do list. So if you hear it, I do apologize, it's him working. But it's day three and I wanna come in and show you what the vase is looking like. I wanna to mention to you guys that I decided to keep this vase natural. It came out looking beautiful, especially adding all the layers. I don't wanna paint it. I wanted the texture and then I wanted to go back in and give it that really old age look. I was thinking about black at first, and then I was like, I don't know if I wanna do black now. And then as the layers just kept applying and the sanding, it's just beautiful the way it is. So I don't wanna paint it. One thing that I will do differently if I wanna stay with this look is I will paint the vase first. Whatever your color base, start with that first. That way, if you want this natural look and you start spackling, whatever starts popping through, it will be your primary color underneath it. Um, and so that is something that I will do differently. Last night I finished with you guys touching up the red areas that was being shown in the pottery. So I applied it in the areas that was still showing the red. Let it fully cure. This morning I came out and did a test run to see what it will look like. And I realized that it will take off my gray paint and here comes the red. I touched that area up. I'm going to let it dry. My next solution is to add spackling once the gray is fully dry. Once the spackle is cured, I will come back in and sand and hopefully I should not see any more red. I will continue working on this piece off camera because I think it'll become more redundant if you start seeing me backfill and re-sand. Just know you will do a lot of sanding with this project if you want to do the age look of the vase. It's looking good. So when I come back in, it will be the final look. Here is the after. I really love how this DIY project turned out and I think it was a success. After applying the spackle over the gray paint, everything worked out perfectly when it was time for sanding. I finished off with Krylon Chalky Matte Clear Sealer. I also gave it a few coats to make sure the final piece is fully protected. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Also, I have a question for you. Would you try this at home? And if so, type yes in the comment section. I love to know. Thank you all for tuning in and watching, and I will see you guys next time.